Alright, what is up, lovely people of the world? Hopefully this time, the microphone is working. I'm going to be glancing over occasionally to make sure the green bar that indicates sound is happening is still moving. So that no stupid mistakes happen again. That would be depressing. Let's kill these dudes for the 5,000th. Oh, God! For the 5,000th time. Oh, no! Everything's fine. It's so weird that the running attack is actually faster than the rest of them. Oh, he didn't do the... Oh, that was actually kind of stupid of me to start running forward there. I might have been running directly to my death! Thankfully, I wasn't! Yeah, do I care? Why not? I can feed it to what's-his-name. I'm just gonna leave it like that. Like, I, I, I don't actually know his name. <laughs> oh, this game's story is such an important focal point, right? Yeah. It's a terrible idea. Whatever, it worked out. It was reckless endangerment, young man. You can go to jail for that. I don't care, I'm a rebel. Demon Fire Sage, that's what this dude is called. I remembered. Um, actually, no, we're gonna have to come back here later. Very shortly. But not right now. I do not have the tools necessary to handle the business I need to handle. So don't you dare utilize. Oops, that one may have been a slightly early dodge. Hi. No, he's using it. Is nonsense. Did that actually hit me? I have my shield up. Son of a bitch. Like, there's. Oh, wow, actually. Apparently. Oh, God, I hate that shit. Why? Makes no fucking sense. Uh oh. Actually, I have more health than I did before that started. I'll take it. You son of a bitch. Oh, I see what's happening. I'm getting hit from behind. I'm stupid. Actually, I'm not that stupid. That'll, now I can actually block that, and I took, like, the same exact... Fuck you, dude! I hate this shit when he does this, when his AI is just like, Hey, let me just use this attack 27 times in a fucking row. And there's nothing, like, there's nothing you can do about it. You just gotta hold it. Well, shout out to that bleed. Good, he's dead now. Thanks for using that attack 27 times in a row, you useless fuck. I'm so angry. I'm so angry at it. You have no idea. That shit is irritating. Every single time that happens, that happened to me. I actually died twice to it. It was on a New Game Plus run where that attack was one-shotting me, but not from the Demon Fire Sage. It was from, um... What's it called? The Asylum Demon was the one that was doing it. Just over and over and over. And the problem was it was doing it, like, directly in the middle of the arena. And I could not escape it. I just... I tried to go from every single side and it was just expanding around him. In 360 degrees and I just... I couldn't get away from it because that... You know, that arena isn't exactly huge in the first place. So yeah, suffice to say that attack and I do not get along very well. So I'm actually... Before I do this... I may as well. How did somebody die there? Maybe they fell. That would have to be my guess. Okay, so before I continue, actually continue on here, I want to go so I don't end up forgetting. We're going to go fight Gwendolyn. Did I? Yes, I did. Dark Moon 2. This will be quick, it'll be fast, it'll be lovely, and we'll get ourselves a Fire Keeper soul in the process. So how can we complain? There's nothing to complain about, it's just nothing but positives. We're also going to get an absolutely beautiful miracle, it's going to be very useful to us. There we go, wall gone, look at that! So now we can re-equip what we already had. The Claranthi Ring is actually very useful here. What is... Uh, I'm actually going to switch that out for the time being. Do the 
Crest Shield, I believe. Yeah, Crest Shield's the best I got. So obviously that is going to give me less bleed protection, but hopefully that should actually let me see. This oh. is the tomb of the great Lord Gwyn. Tarnished it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the dark sun, cast aside thine ire. Hear the voice of mine self, Gwendolyn, and kneel before me. I kneel for no man. Or woman, if that's what you identify as. What foolishness. You're a fool to believe you can beat me. Why trespasseth upon the great lord's tomb, whilst thou art a disciple of the dark sun? I'm not a disciple of the dark sun. <laughs> Mark the words of I wonder if that's a bug. Gwendolyn. Thou shalt not go unpunished. Mm-hmm, that's what they all say. They all say, oh, I'm gonna punish you, you naughty, naughty boy, but they never know how. They never satisfy. They think mere handcuffs are enough to satisfy the mighty Nate Aristotle. But no, there must be whips and magical bolts of shit that's gonna hit me. Didn't hit me. Everything's fine. I cannot believe I got away from that. Okay, do I'm just gonna stay here. Stay here. Stay do the do the thingy. Do the do the thingy. Do the this she did the thingy! Oh god, I got hit by it. Ah oh, fuck. Am I, please don't tell me I was close enough to cause the teleport. Damn it, I what fuck. Well, that was a wasted opportunity. I mean, it is possible to rush her, but the best you're going to get at that point in time in terms of just available... Oops, oops, oops. Is that attack, that attack, that attack, that attack, that attack! Hey, 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 hey! Hey! Y'all, so that's uh, after being incredibly socially correct, we go and do some very racist Native American shit. <laughs> Why, that gotta be Native American. Why can't it be terrorist battle cries? So am I gonna... Damn. Damn! Alright, one more time. Technically what I've heard, I do want to try this at some point in time, but I would never do it on a playthrough, because that's gotta be, like, probably one of the most boring things I could possibly do. But apparently this hallway is not actually endless. swathed in dark. An eternal curse upon thee. Yeah, it's not gonna really work out for you. Nothing really happens. Cause from what I have potentially read, it's actually possible to get through this entire hallway. Like, there is an end to it. It just takes, like, six minutes straight of just running nonstop. <laughs> Which is not too terribly appealing. But yeah, it's, uh, uh, that's not a very well-designed boss fight, unfortunately. She only has those three attacks. And it's just, you know, in general, you want to wait until she pulls out that one where she's kind of committed to it for a while. Because she does that kind of stance change. That one's empty. Uh, does that, you know, little stance change that she has to come back down from before she can teleport. So that gives you a little bit of extra time that may be all the time necessary. To get that final attack, but unfortunately the Life Hunt Scythe was not fast enough to get a third attack in. I also don't really understand why this doesn't turn in Orlando dark. Because that, if you kill, I, I, just, I would actually assume if you kill Guinevere after this, it would still turn. So let me warp to Ain Orlando, and we're gonna get attacked by the Fire Keeper there. Um, I would assume if you still attack Guinevere, it would go back to being dark, but. From what I've read, I mean, it's entirely possible that they're wrong. Oh, I thought you talked. Aren't you supposed to say things? I thought you were supposed to say stuff. No? Not gonna say nothing? What are you doing? Oh, let me just kill you real quick. <laughs> that was smart to do! Alright, cool. So we got that bad boy. Um, and then, oh, you know what? Oh, that's right, shit, that's actually kind of a mistake. Well, maybe not, not, not a mistake, actually, so how do I... Oh, uh, that's right. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna be a nice, look at how nice I am. There you go, enjoy. Um, oops. So hopefully this should return me to the Dark Moon Shrine, which will allow me to teleport out of here. Um, 
but yeah, so I, if what I've read is correct, everything, m not everything, the majority of stuff in Ain Orlando is actually an illusion created by Gwendolyn. So like most of the enemies, I think all of the enemies except for the Silver Knights go away after you kill, uh, if you kill Guinevere and turn Ain Orlando dark. But, and apparently Guinevere is also just an illusion created by Gwendolyn. So, why doesn't all of that disappear when you kill Gwendolyn? It confuses me. I don't understand how that fits. So, like, maybe, I don't know, maybe that disproves the theory that it's an illusion. I mean, because if you attack Guinevere, she just disappears. She doesn't attack back. There's no boss fight. She just goes away. So, obviously, she's some kind of illusion, but I just don't really understand why all of it would remain... It once Gwendolyn's gone. Alright, so now that we've finished that fight, we're gonna move right along and go save Soleri's ass. Actually, I guess it would have been faster <laughs> to use that bonfire first. I can still. Damn, those look like they really should be the kind that start moving. Yoink. Alright, so basically, just to summarize the whole thing, there's three ways that I'm aware of. There might, there might be more. But there's three ways to save Soleri. The first of which is the one that I am going to do, which I will show you shortly. Uh, the second of which is joining that dart is, dot, not the, is joining the Daughters of Chaos. Ooh, I have not handled... What's her name? I have the plus ten Pyromancy Glove, right? Yes, I do. So once I do this quickly I'm gonna go back to Quilana and speak to her and buy her stuff out slash talk to her and hopefully get the quest without having to buy her stuff out we'll see but um so there's three main ways to save Solari the first of which I'm gonna do that go do now the second of which is joining the daughters of chaos covenant I think what they called like the chaos keeper I don't know um and once you offer enough humanity I think you have to get to rank three but it might just be rank two um you can open up this doorway that I'm going to come to right now. And this allows you to just... Ooh, that was a bad jump. I didn't mean to jump there. <laughs> Fucking love jumping in this game. Um, If you... So you can open this door and kill the thing behind it. Which I'm going to kill the thing behind it anyway. But technically I don't think you're really supposed to be able to do this. And the third way is just not to talk to Solari. God damn it. You just don't talk to Solari and Ain Orlando. And in doing that, he stays there. He doesn't ever move from there. And he will, but he will stay there until you do talk to him. And so eventually, you just you go back, you talk to him, you handle this stuff, you kill the thing that's behind here, which I shall do right now. Blah. So as you can see, the poison mist infects this thing behind it. That is the sunlight maggot that would normally uh, grab Solari and twist him and make him attack you. And make it so he doesn't survive once he gets to this point. Hey, look at that, a sunlight medal. So I'm just going to wait here for this to complete. Actually, while I'm here, I should probably equip the blood shield. So there we go, it's dead now. So once we get over there, the sunlight maggot helmet will be awaiting us. Along with a very alive and slightly sane Solari. <laughs> Moderately? A little bit? The problem here is that uh, you can't teleport to any of the bonfires in Lost Eye. Actually, you can't teleport to any of these bonfires. There isn't the closest... I mean, the only bonfire you can... Oh, oops, my bad. I'm stupid. The only bonfire you can ever teleport to in this entire area is the one that's the Daughter of Chaos, and then you just have to use that elevator down. That's, that's the only shortcut you get. That's the best you get. So, unfortunately, I can't just like... Oh, well, actually, I take that back. You still get... Um, what am I doing? Where am I going? I just got stuck on that limb and was like, oh, hey, surely I can't go that way. Nope, you can. That over there is a soul, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> Since I missed the jump going down, I can't be bothered to go get it and then climb all the way back up. Fuck that noise. But yeah, so you can unlock, uh, once you unlock that door also, that provides you a direct path into Lost Isolith. Rather than having to go through all this shit all over again. But until then... You can't, I mean, you just, you can't teleport to any of these bonfires. Alright, so let's go ahead and warp. Back to the, oops. Back to the Daughters of Chaos. Let's go talk to Quilana real quick. And hopefully she'll give us the quest. You know what? I don't think this is worth it. 
Because she gives you one of those, like, great... I think it's Chaos Combustion. I want to say that you get... If she offers you... She asks you to kill the bed of Chaos on her behalf. But I don't think you can use any of the Chaos Pyromancy spells without being in the Chaos Keeper. I'm going to call it Chaos Keeper from now on. I don't know if that's actually what it is. I'm still going to call it that. If you, Unless you are in the Chaos Keeper Covenant. So it's kind of useless for me to be coming over here. Like to bother getting the quest to do it. Other than just that have it. Fuck it. We've been kind of completionating everything. So let's completionate this. And while we're walking this way. This is going to take me a while anyway. I may as well look up the official name of this covenant. What are you called? I gotta scroll down. What are you called? Chaos Servant. My bad. No wonder I want to call him a Chaos Keeper. A keeper of something is significantly more badass than being a servant. Who wants to just be a servant? I don't. Keeper is such a badass title. Actually, aren't I a forest servant right now? No, I'm a forest hunter. See? Forest hunter. Significantly more badass than a forest servant. <laughs> Welcome to Blight Town. Enjoy a frame rate of five. Motherfucker. I like how I'm slowed down by the swamp. But the I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't have the shit equipped to get rid of poison. But yeah, I love how uh, I'm slowed by the swamp, but the moment I use that attack, that's not affected anymore by it. Uh, truth. Hello. Let's actually power this up as much as I can, because I don't really care about levels at this point in time too terribly much. Oh, I'm so close. I'm going to use some souls to get that to plus 15, and hopefully potentially get it. Please, I abandoned my mother and sister. Now I won't pretend. Pyromancy. God damn it. Shit, I, might, I sh should not have done that. Let me try one more time. Now go. Actually, how many souls do I have right now? I hate that that happens. Oh, not many at all. Oh, that may not get me enough to do. Well, I can use the guardian soul too, because like I said, there's no. You don't get anything for that, or you can't like turn that. You can't turn a weapon into anything using it. It's just, it's literally there for souls. I don't know why I'm not just equipping this. It would be so much faster. Is this entertaining? I hope this is appropriately entertaining. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really should keep, like, just a track of things. They're like really short stories that I could just uh, talk I'm about. Pirate. Damn it. Alright, so I probably do have to buy out all her shit. So let's see how many. Oh, wow, I'm not even gonna be close! Actually, that is fairly close. Just 30,000 more souls. So let's see. Now go, Mr. My Obviously, I can use the Guardian Soul. I think that gets me hopefully 12. 12. Um, what else? Wow, I actually do not have very many boss souls. That's surprising. That's all I have. So let me see. I'm trying to think of what I get. This can get me a spear and the shield. I actually kind of like that shield. Damn. Core of an iron golem. Fuck the iron golem. I need 6,000 more. I'm so close. Uh, you know what? I'm actually just gonna go kill shit until I get 6,000 souls. That's actually not gonna be hard at all. I can just kill the Taurus demons down there, and I think that'll be it. So we'll come, we'll be back here in a moment. Thank- I am glad I just put you through that so we could result in this. You're welcome. <laughs> 